Hey everyone, Jamie with Originality AI here. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at Zero GPT's AI detection scanner. Just going to be reviewing it with the GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 models. Going to give it a couple of different prompts and see how it does. And then I'm going to take a look at Originality AI and see how it does with the same prompts. I'm interested to see how Zero GPT does, as it's been quite a popular tool as of late. Let's take a look. All right, so for the first one here, I'm just going to be using GPT 3.5. Going to enter in this prompt just to write an article about the best gardening tools. Let's generate this. I'd really hope that Zero GPT picks this up pretty easily. Let's see. We'll copy and paste this over. Paste it into Zero GPT. Detect text. Oh, interesting. Okay, I actually expected it to be more confident. Um, so it's given us a 60% AI GPT and it's highlighted the areas that it believes has been generated by AI. Okay, interesting. All right, so now for the next test, we're just going to use exactly the same prompt. But this time we're going to be in GPT-4, pasting it into here. And I'll cut the video until this is finished typing. All right, so GPT-4 has finished generating this content. A little bit of a longer article. Just going to copy that text over. Paste it once again to, into zero GPT. It's added the markdown indications as well, which is quite funny. Let's see how it does on this one. Okay, so with the direct copy and paste, it has given it a 27.34% confidence rating that this is AI generated. Please bear in mind that this is just a very limited test, uh, but I just wanted to give it a trial to see how it works. Okay, and for the last one, for the last one here, I've asked GPT-4 to write an article about the best gardening tools. I've asked it to write like a human, which is to say use a medium amount of burstiness and perplexity, as well as idioms and anecdotes. So we're gonna copy this text over, paste it into here, see how it does again. 17.21%. So interestingly, as we've increased the perplexity of the prompt, and as we've started to use better models, it is giving a higher rating to human written and a lower rating to AI. All right, now let's check out Originality AI and see how it does with exactly the same text. So here we are in Originality AI. We're gonna copy over that first piece of text. So just grabbing the first piece of text here, the GPT 3.5 model, paste that in there and scan now. And as expected, it's given us a 100% AI confidence rating. Let's do the next one. So the next one was the GPT-4 prompt. Gonna once again, copy and paste that into here. And as expected again, another 100% AI rating. And for the last one, gonna grab this last piece of content, copy and paste it over. And once again, a 100% AI rating. And just to show that this is not just highlighting everything is AI, I'm gonna take this top one here, grab some content from here, just grab this piece of content. Gonna head back over to Originality AI and start a new scan. Scan now. And we can see it's given it a 100% confidence rating that this is original content. And I will paste the same into zero GPT, see how it does. And this has given it as well a 100% human written content. So zero GPT did detect some AI generated content, but overall just wasn't as accurate as originality AI. That concludes my short review of zero GPT. If you want to check out a full written review, I'll leave one in the description below. It can be found on originality AI's blog post page. I've been Jamie with originality AI. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.